All right, so um, in this lecture, we want to finish up with um, the composition of partial fractions with improper partial fractions. Okay, in the last video, I said um, impartial is improper partial fractions. So that is the case where the degree of the numerator, all right, is higher than the degree of the denominator. In that case, you don't go ahead to apply the techniques you've learned already. What you do first is make sure that you use long division the long division will eventually give you um, a proper uh, rational fraction, all right? And then you can apply any of the previous techniques to decompose that into partial fractions, okay? And so we use long division on this first. We'll have um, x to the 4 plus 2, um, and then x cubed plus 9x, x cube goes in here, I have x, this and this gives me x to the power of 4, x times this gives me 9x squared. If I subtract, this goes to 0, 0 count goes here, I have negative 9x squared, and then I have a 2, right? Which means that this can be written as x, the remainder is this, right? So plus negative 9x squared plus 2, all over our denominator x cubed plus 9x. Okay, so that is what you do first. Now you notice that this now is a proper rational uh, fraction because the degree of here, which is 2, is less than the degree of the denominator. And so we then apply our previous techniques to this to um, decompose it into partial fractions. So when you take this, right? Take this guy now. Negative 9x squared plus 2 all over x cubed plus 9x. Well, notice that we can actually write as you can factorize x out, right? You can factorize x out and have x squared plus 9. Okay, much easier to deal with. This can be written as since this is a linear, this is a over x plus. This is quadratic, which is irreducible, so I need dx plus c all over x squared plus 9. Then you solve for a, b, and c, right? So multiply through by this, I have our negative 9x squared plus 2 is equal to uh, a here into x squared plus 9 plus, this is dx plus c, this is going to multiply x, right? Okay, so we have negative nine x squared plus two will be equal to, I'm going to prove this already. This and this will give me ax squared. This and this give me bx squared. So I'm going to have a plus b x squared. I have an x term here, cx. Here I have a constant term nine a. Right? Okay, good. So just compare the coefficients as we've done before, right? It's easy to start with a constant term. 9a should be equal to 2. 9a will be equal to 2, which implies that a is equal to 2 over 9, right? Um, c will be 0. There is no x term here. So c c goes to 0. So here we are comparing the constant terms. If you compare the x terms, you see that c is 0. Now you can compare the x squared terms. Then we know that a plus b must be equal to negative 9. a plus b is equal to negative 9. Okay. We are looking for um, b. We know what a is. So b will be negative 9 minus a. A is 2 over 9. So that gives you 81, negative 83 over 9. Okay? So we have our constants now. So we can put them in here to get a partial fraction for this. Alright? Good. So I'm going to get rid of um, these guys here. Okay? So, I'm, I'm just going to write the final 
um, solution here. So eventually x to the 4 plus 2 all over x to the 4 3 plus 9x will be equal to, don't forget this x plus this guy we have uh, the composite is a over x, a is 2 over 9, 2 over 9, all over x plus b is given by negative 83 over 9, negative 83 on 9, x, c was 0, all over x squared plus 9. Okay? So really that is it. You can rewrite it in a mental way you like, right? This x plus this I can write as 2 over 9x, right? Put the 9 down. I can put the 9 down here as well. Of minus 3x over 9 multiplying x squared plus 9. Alright? And so the partial fraction decomposition of this improper fraction now is equal to this. Okay, so you can you can practice with this and some of the 